Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. Today we are going to talk about uh, the Avid, this Avid buffer machine that I have and doing a truck. Um, Tina's truck has been scratched up pretty good. I'm going to show you a bunch of videos in there. Actually, I had this whole beginning part here all recorded already but i found out that for some reason my phone didn't pick up any audio on it on this this video this introduction so i'm redoing it now but i've already done the work and i'll tell you what i cannot just that tool i should have bought one of these 25 years ago i'm telling you most amazing thing i've ever had and uh took about three hours to do it you're gonna see everything so i have all the video all that stuff turned out good uh just for some reason that intro one i'm redoing it right now but what we have here bought this on amazon Okay, it is an Avid Power, uh, it's a dual action random orbital, okay, dual, six inch dual action random, and uh, what that means, is that my lens, it's, it's, it's time for a new phone, we're getting pretty bad here, there we go, um, but uh, but anyway, this thing does, you know, it, it does all sorts of random, dis, you know, sh so you can't screw up with this, you can't burn paint, it's not putting all the heat and pressure in one spot, it's just going all over the place like that, and it's a very good design, you'll see it in action in here, but the beauty of that is that it's very user friendly for beginners, it was not expensive, okay, I'll have links to this stuff down below for you you so anyway so i bought that it came in this box here it came with these pads i'm just using this for pad storage but it came with these pads right here so you had a, a black polishing pad an orange uh compounding pad or i mean a, a yellow compounding pad for using for heavy heavy scratch removal and then an orange one for your polishing and swirl remover and that kind of stuff and uh, then i ended up buying another set of these pads like this and six inch those are sevens that came with it but i bought all these six inches i'll put links to them and i bought some of these uh, extra buffer pads these are what i used for like the scratch remover on there you'll see it in the video um but this thing is amazing and then the stuff i'm using in here uh so i have this you'll see i put the marks on here with a sharpie so you can actually see it going around you know your pressure you're using it's a very simple easy tool to use they're just velcro backed so these pads just stick right on there with velcro and lock right on there uh so very simple and easy to do like i said tremendous amount of information in this video for you that you're going to see but so what i did is i originally first thing i did is i washed it uh do i have any clay bars left i think i do yes so i used clay bar okay mcguire's clay bars right here why am i getting i'm gonna pause this for a second and see what's going on with that halo effect here all right, there we go. We got that fixed. Like I said, it's about time for me to get a new phone. It's getting all scratched up and beat up. But these clay bars right here, I show you how I use that in there. But first thing I did is I washed it, okay? I washed it with Dawn dish soap first because I wanted to degrease it. I wanted that grease or any of the waxes and any of the stuff that was on there, I wanted those removed off of there first. So I washed it with some Dawn dish soap in a, uh, in a bucket, washed it. Then I clay barred it. And I used, uh, actually I used uh, this stuff when I clay barred it uh, because I'm a big fan of this. But you could use something like a, uh, actually in a clay bar kit that I'll put a link to that you get some of this quick detailer. Comes into a kit for you. I use this stuff, this McGuire's detailer, because it's got the iron out, uh, which works great. I showed you that in my Cherokee video, how that takes all that brake dust, rust, and all those little spots of rust you see on a car that's not really... It is rust, but it's it's not rust of your car. You see it, especially like on white and silver cars, uh, lighter color cars, you see all that that little red specks all over. Well, this just uh, dissolves it instantly. I, I showed you that in my Cherokee video. Um, but uh, I used that with the clay bar, and I do show you the steps on how I did it. Um, but so I washed it, I clay barred it with a clay bar, and I got all the imperfections and, or impurities and everything contaminated. It was stuck in there, out of there. Again, you see it all in a video. Then I went to a scratch remover right here, and I used this McGuire scratch remover, and I removed, I hit, you know, specifically the six or eight scratches that were on this car that bothered me on this truck. So I used those. I put this white pad right here. I put that white pad on, and I put one of these bonnets, microfiber bonnet on it, and I used that scratch remover, and I removed um the scratches from there when that was done i went to this vss okay this is chemical guys vss again i'll have links to all this stuff for you but this is a scratch and swirl remover and polish all in one i watched a lot of videos on this stuff and how to do this hours of video so i got a lot of great tips for you in here um in this video but uh but this is a all in one so you don't have to do anything after you're done it's not like a two or three step process with that it's just a one step and done 
So I use that on there. Uh, this is the wax that I'm going to put on it eventually. I have not yet, but I did buy that. I showed it in a video there too, but I'm going to eventually put that on with this. And I will use like this black polish disc to do it when I do. But right now it's just set up as you're watching it in the video. It's done with just this on there after the scratches are out. And then obviously arm all right here and then some WD-40 that you will see why and what I do with them in the video. But this is basically that entire setup that I use on there. Uh, the pads that I had to hold. This is that whole entire kit, um, you know, that I ran right here and for everything you're about to see in this video and i cannot say enough great things about it i mean absolutely incredible uh best decision i i ever made i i cannot believe how this did on that truck i mean you will see it from start to finish from the beginning process through the end to all the way along the way amazing straight up amazing results and like I said, I got less than a hundred bucks here. I think this thing was like $59, uh, something like that. Give or take a couple bucks. Depends on, you know, uh, if I got a, I don't remember if I had a coupon or something, but either way, not very expensive. It came with all the pads you need. You didn't have to buy the extra ones because you did get all of the, the pads you needed with it already. So, um, you know, you're looking at, you know, 50, 59 bucks or so. And then, uh, I think this was 10 bucks and this was probably, I don't know, whatever, 10, 15 bucks, but none of it was expensive. And I have links to it all in the description for you below. To get to that description, hit that little arrow next to this video title and it will drop down the text below this. And it'll give you all the details of the video. In there you will find links to all this stuff. But we are going to go ahead now, get into this video and you are going to see it uh, as it's dirty through the whole process of washing it, through the process of clay barring it, scratch removal, how to use this random orbital dual action uh, uh, buffer polisher machine, uh, the finished results, the whole deal, it's all coming up for you right now. So stick around. All right, thanks. All right, here's what it looks like currently. Like I said, we're gonna wash it, clay bar it, polish it. We're gonna try and get rid of some of the scratches you can see here. You can see these scratches, that's from a uh, uh, a parking lot. I don't remember what happened there, but there's some of them on here. This under here you'll see is all covered with little scratches. There was a bird that did some kind of fighting with its reflection in the mirror, but it wrecked all over here. You'll see when we wash it. Uh, you can see I got some more here too, just from being in the woods and stuff like that. So uh, it's going to be time. Uh, we just put a couch in the back that we're bringing over to uh, uh, my daughter's. Um, like I said, there's just a, you know, there's a lot of thing gets the crap beat out of it. It gets used a lot. So we are going to wash it, clean it up there's a couple of good scuffs here on the door somewhere too that once we get the dirt off of it you'll see it so uh that'll be step one uh, tonight i'm going to wash it when the sun goes down i'm going to clay bar it then i'll show you a little bit then as well too so you can see what we're talking about and then i'm gonna pull it into the garage and uh tomorrow we are going to buff that dude out and uh see what we can find and uh make it all perfect okay she is washed and I'm not going to dry it because of the fact that I, uh, I'm i going to let it just dry lose it on its own a little bit here. And I'm going to clay bar it. I do not do the wheel wells. Again, I live on a dirt road. I let the WD-40 take care of that. If you watch my other videos, you know, and you'll see at the end of this. But if you squirt that inside with WD-40, it eats all that crap off and leaves it looking real nice. I buy it by the gallon. Works real simple. But again, keep in mind, I'm not doing this to make this thing look good. Because honestly, it's, I live on a dirt road. It's in the woods at least two or three days a week. It's going to get dirty anyway. As soon as I take it, if, if I back it down a driveway, it's dirty. It's just the way it is this time of year. But I do want it protected. And I don't like those scratches being there. So we're going to make sure it's all perfect. Um, it's just one of those kind of deals. But I've had it for two years. Been beat up for two years. I'll do it once now. And then I'll do it in, uh, in two and a half years when we go to sell it. I'll do it again then so that it looks perfect for whoever it is that buys it. Um, but you can see those scratches starting to pop out things starting to show there um you can see that big scratch right there that like i said they're starting to pop out we're going to clay bar it while it's wet then we'll dry it and we'll be able to see all that stuff a lot better now with that clay bar set they give you um and, and clay bar i've done before now i haven't done it on any of my vehicles but i helped a buddy do it on his raptor but uh with the clay bars um, they give you this kit, you get a nice microfiber cloth, three bars, and a quick detailer. So it's worth it just to buy that kit because it's, it's pretty affordable. It's like 20 bucks, but I'm actually using 
uh, this stuff here that I use all the time, which is getting rid of iron and clay. I use this. I showed you this in my uh, Cherokee video, how to get rid of that off, get rid of all that brake dust rust um, that's all over white cars and silver cars. You see all those red specks everywhere. Well, this is what gets rid of that. It is also a perfectly good um, lubricant and it, well, it cleans. It also will let me use it as a clay bar setup. So I'm going to take one of these bars, take half of it, knead it out into a spot. And I'm going to spray this and rub it all up and down a car. Sweet and easy. And we're going to get her clay barred real quick. All we do for this, I got the little piece of clay in my hand, but we're going to just squirt a little bit. Oh, hang on. I, well, I want that on the other one, but we're going to squirt a little of this on there just to have it as a lubricant like that. And then we have this kind of kneaded out. You can see I kind of kneaded it to a flat spot, a piece like this. And then we're just going to rub this, take that clay, which I had flatter till I rolled it. And we're just going to rub that and make sure it's going to grab any, so, like you can hear it. Listen. Now here how smooth, it just took all those, look at, look at that, it took all those contaminants right out of there. That's why we use little pieces, okay? But it's getting rid of all these contaminants that are on here. And we're going to go over the whole car with this. And when this one, listen here, listen, see, smooth. Now listen here. It's pulling all those contaminants. Listen right here. I can feel it. See, there's all these little grains right here from road construction, stuff like that that's stuck on that paint. So you can, I'm going to flip this over, but listen up here where there's none. Nice and smooth. Now listen when we get down here. Hear that? Just pulled all those contaminants off there. So we're going to go over the whole car that way and clay bar this thing and get that paint perfect. All right, we have it clay barred, and we have it uh, washed clay barred completely. You can see now, you can see that scratch right there bothers me. You can see some little surface ones in here. You can see the scuff marks in there just from washing as the light hits it. Uh, you can see, like I said, this thing just gets used and abused here. It's a truck. Um, look at some scratches right there. Uh, here's, let's see where that bird was. Right here, so you can see, I'm going to hopefully let it see. Look at all these little scratches all over here see them all can you see the white hitting right there you can see them these are all from a bird that was on here they're all over just these tiny little scratches in the paint i'm gonna try and do like this maybe it's better zoomed in like that but you can see them all over here just tons of these little scratch marks and it's just from this bird that was going crazy on here and beating beating a truck up and uh so anyway so we're gonna get those all out look at them all here you can see them all there you go now you can see them see all these vertical scratch marks in there all that stuff look at all that that's from this bird that was just going crazy on the side of the truck you can see them all everywhere here and I don't know what he was doing, attacking himself or what, but he went crazy. So we're going to get those fixed out of there. Look at that one right there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that, but we're going to try and get that. So like I said, there's some in here. Look at them on here. You know, it's a truck. It gets used. It gets beat up. It goes through stuff. So, uh, the, you know, we got a good rub mark right there, you can see. So we are going to, uh, got a good scratch right there. Uh, what else we got on here? Probably some other ones. There's a little rub mark there. A couple scratches right there. You can see them in the white. On here, like I said, two years old. You can see all these little minor ones in here just from, you know, dirt. Okay, we live on a dirt road. There's a good scratch right there. But dirt and getting, I mean, it's a truck. It gets beat up. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Got a couple on the back here. So we're going to just go over this thing, try and fix it. You can see a scuff right there. Um, you know, you can see some in here. There's a scuff right there. No, actually, that's no, that's still dry, and you can see it's still wet. Um, yeah, I just dried it off, but look at that scratch right there. Look at that long white one right in the middle of the light right there, too. Again, they're not huge. They're not super deep, but they're enough to drive me nuts and piss me off. And you got that dull kind of haze on there, and you can see all that spider web affecting uh, from washing it, from road grime, from all kinds of stuff. And uh, there's that same one right there. Gunner! And uh, so you can see that. Look at that one right there. Look at that big one. I don't know what happened right there. Something got to us right there. Probably a shopping cart. Something like that. Hang on. Back, there's another one. We're on the passenger side now. There's a scratch here. Look at that. That's shopping cart or something there. Uh, pretty good hit right there. Again, you know, stuff that, I mean, we, it's my wife's daily driver. This thing gets used and who knows where and how, but we got a good scuff there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with it, but we're going to try it and see if we can. So you got some marks on here. 
Uh, look at them all right there on the edge of that too. Again, it's a truck and it goes through the woods. And I don't baby these things, okay? It's not going to be treated right. But that, like I said, that's a metal... That's not, but I can hopefully get that off though. We're going to give that a try. So, uh, but point being, this truck is not a, it, it, it's never parked in the garage. No, I don't own a car that gets parked in the garage. I don't own a car that uh, um, gets pampered and babied. I Again, I live on a dirt road. I spend most of my time in the woods hunting. And the other time I'm out in the woods scouting. So these things, they live off road in the woods. So this stuff is completely normal. But I want to, again, it being my wife's car, mine, my cars, I only keep a car for two years max, okay? I put, you know, I put 50 to 60,000 miles a year on them, and then I dump, you know, and I, I keep them for two years, and then I dump them. Maybe three if I'm lucky, um, and they're gone. But my wife's intentions are to keep this truck for the full five years, and then after five years, it'll be 100% paid for. We'll sell it for a tremendous amount of money, and we'll take that money, put it down on another one, and so our next one is is going to be very affordable. So, that's the intention with this. So I want to keep that paint looking nice on there. We're going to do this. We already got it washed, clay barred. Now we're going to try and remove some of the scratches. Then we're going to put a pole polish all over the whole thing and then a wax on there. And uh, like I said, if I do it and I like the results, then I know that right before it's time to sell it, where I was going to pay somebody hundreds of dollars to actually detail it for me, I can do it myself. I already got the stuff that that I did not spend much money. That that Avid uh, washer was like fifty nine bucks. You know that that orbital random orbital buffer was like fifty nine bucks on Amazon. I'll put links to all this stuff down below for you. None of the I got probably with the detail kit, uh, the clay bar kit, the uh, pads. All, I, I maybe maybe eighty bucks involved in this whole thing, and I have enough to do it two or three times. So I'll be set. So it's for me going to be a benefit i think i'm going to pull this into the garage tomorrow is when we're going to start on this and uh but it's wash clay bar tomorrow we start doing the scratch removal polish and get it worked on and we'll see what happens all right we just got done i went through and hit some of the scratches like remember that big scratch it was there look at that not too shabby there is still a little bit right here but again can you hear that? It's actually deep enough that I'm getting a fingernail on there, and I don't want to keep pushing it. But that big scratch, it was all went all the way down and all the way along there, all gone. So that worked out very well. So we went through and got rid of a lot of those scratches that were on there. Um, that one that's over here that's actually in that dent, all that's left is where it's in that dent. You can see it there, but that's actually a dent. When you look at the side, see it dented there. Um, where a shopping cart hit, but it toned that down tremendously. So we went through and cleaned up a lot of these, got a lot of those scratches that were in there out of there. That big one that was on here, right here, all gone. It went there. That big one, remember that big one? It went all the way along there. It toned that down really good and got rid of that. So that worked good. Uh, we had one big one right here that was along here. We got that one out of there. So I went through and just touched the scratches themselves. Uh, and there was one more that was right up here that's now down to just that little smidge. That's just a line right there. That's just a line coming off the thing. There's uh but uh it took that uh that where is it at? I don't even see it. Those are just reflections from the door that you're seeing my wire. That's my upper garage wire that you're seeing as a reflection. That's up there that you're seeing. Uh right here's that little one. You can barely see not that. See that's again that's wire. Oh, that's a bad angle here. I'm not seeing it. it's all reflection so but it took that out of there too so we got all those uh those major dings in in scratches are are gone so now what we're going to do is we're going to use that uh vss we used a scratch remover uh which i don't remember where i set it when i was working it here where did i put that stuff at i thought i had it oh right here so i used this i used this stuff right there and all i did was just put it on a buffing pad i put it on one of these microfiber pads right here on a microfiber pad and just put it on top of that one and i just hit him for a couple of quick seconds to, to tone those down and get rid of them now we are going to put the vss um which is a polisher scratch swirl remover it's a one-step process all done at one time uh so we're going to use that on an orange pad on this and we're going to go over the whole car i'm going to do it in two foot increments okay two by two increments again i may be a novice but i've done a lot of research so like we're going to take this panel here and we're going to go i'm going to just do like this sec half of this panel right here at once and then we'll move on and then we'll do that one after we do that. But we're taking it section by section by section, you know, little small square, like a door panel. I'm going to probably turn into four sections. I'll do that section. 
then I'll do that section, then I'll do that section. So we're doing it in sections that are small enough to work with. That way you let the, the um, you know, the, the uh, polishes and stuff do their actual work. And we clean pads in between as we're going. So that's uh, the game plan. So as I get it rolling through here, I'll show you some of the process. All right, so what we're doing with this, we're just going to put four dabs. Again, this stuff is not secret. Okay, there's no... Um, you know, this, like I said, it's maybe my first time doing this, but I did do some research online, looked, so we're going to do it like this, basically, uh, putting four dabs on here, and then we're going to take this, and what we're going to do is just press this on, so we're going to do half of this first panel, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to dab this where I'm going to do this to kind of spread this around like this, so this is about our zone we're going for is right there. That's about the area I'm going to do just like that. Then I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to go about one inch per or about one inch per second up. And then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go up, down like this all the way up and down through here. Then I'm going to go crisscross through here like this. And uh, then I'll probably go one more up, down, and then I'm going to be done. And that's it. So um, I'll, like I said, I'll show you more of that as we're going through it here where I got it before and after and I can show you. All right, well, there we go. I have this door panel done and the fender done. Both of them are completely finished here. And uh, I will show you, but we got uh, these two. Again, I got a lot of light coming in here so I can see well. So it's kind of probably tougher for you, but here's my light. But so this panel I did not do. So if we look at this panel here, you kind of follow along in the light. Look at the swirls. Look at all the uh, the scratches, the mini scratches that are all over that thing. I mean, you can see it's actually a wreck. Okay, look at along that edge in there. I'm trying to see where you can see it. Like, see them all. Look at as we go across here. Look at all the spider webbing and just uh, random abuse and scratches and marks everywhere. Now, as we roll across this one, look at the difference. Just a metallic sparkle in there, and beautiful. Look at that. As we go back over to the panel I did not do yet. Look at all that mess in there that we got to fix out of there. Little mini scratches everywhere, all kinds of stuff that's got to be repaired. Uh, paint scratches, little scratches everywhere. You can see them all over in there. I, at least I can. I'm hoping you can with the light. But when we get over to this panel pristine perfect so there we go so anyway we're just working through it and uh it took me i'll bet i spent uh i'll bet i spent five minutes here and five minutes there so i got about 10 minutes in and i got these two panels done so i'm figuring it's gonna take me about an hour and a half two hours to do the whole truck so not a big deal here so i'm pretty excited it's going pretty smooth all right there we go whole side done took me 29 minutes so 30 minutes total um, not very long to do. Um, and like I said, I did not get crazy. Um, I just wanted to clean it up as best I can here, but I do not want to go, um, you know, like I said, it's going to be dirty again in no time, but you can see that, uh, that those swirls are gone. The scratches are gone. Everything's gone. We're down to good, beautiful paint. It's looking fantastic. Um, I mean, the difference is night and day. I mean, it's incredible. Um, the difference that made. I mean, I've never seen nothing like it. And honestly, I would have never expected. Uh, I never expected it to be that good for what I've done. And again, being my first time and new to all this, I'm going very light duty on this. Uh, but scratches are removed. Look at that big scratch. It was there. It's like I said, it's basically gone. Um, you know, just a fantastic system i mean you know for 60 bucks I, I mean i cannot complain about that this was all loaded with scratches all the way across here loaded with them from branches hitting there and stuff look at that i mean just uh fantastic same with this branch marks everywhere on there and uh you know it's looking looking absolutely incredible so very impressed so far <clears throat> all right so we got side one uh, the other side completely done all the way around tailgate didn't do the hood yet so we got to do these panels and the hood, but I'm going to take a minute and my pad from doing that, I did second time I've done it here, but they say to clean these out, okay, to clean this, you can use air if you have air. I don't have air. I will wash them when I'm done, but right now to get rid of this basically grime that's in there, I'm going to use a microfiber cloth. This is a clean one and I'm going to scrub this. This is what they say to do is it'll get that stuff out of that foam pad, um, you know, and keep it basically ready for you know to be used again so that's kind of what i'm doing here is just cleaning it up 
and let me go around. And cleaning that again keep in mind I'm new to all this never done this before but that's supposed to keep that pad any of that cut and gunk out of that pad so I've done this now with four of these every panel I've been basically uh, cleaning that off and doing that with it basically just scrubbing away at it like this try and get anything out of there that I can like that on a microfiber cloth and then I've been like I said turn it on for a second let it go but basically um, every other panel I'm doing that and then I'll just rewash these but that way I'm keeping that that pad clean again Keep in mind never done this before so it's all learning experience But on that other side, which if I bring you over and show you um, has been phenomenal I am super excited about it. This is it again I'll bring it outside because I know the Sun's kind of harsh But this whole thing took me about an hour to do the sides, all the sides this side and the tailgate and she is all I mean man I am impressed I am I am super impressed it looks as good as the day we bought it uh, it's two years old and been beat up like you wouldn't believe and it is cleaning up perfectly uh, and like I said not taking a tremendous about the same amount of time it would take me to actually wax this thing is how long it's taken me to do this thing. So I'm pretty excited um, and then that polish I'm using that VSS on here is a one-step everything swirl haze remover and protectant so it's a one-step deal so i don't have to do i don't have to wax it or anything afterwards so i'm not gonna right now but then because in two months right before three months right before hunting season is when i wax them all well i'm going to use this and uh, i'm going to put that on there then and i will use that um i'm going to use this buffer but i'm going to go to a very soft waxing pad like this one or this black one these are soft pads but I'll use these and uh, and I'll apply that wax on there too uh, right before hunting season, before Georgia and stuff. So, all right, we're going to go on this side and get this side done. I'll show you a little bit as I'm going here. All right, so what I'm doing, taking that pad, basically taking this, I'm putting four dabs, about pea size. Right there's one. There's one right there. One right here. And one right here. Okay, so I got four dab size P size dabs on there. And then what I'm doing, I'm gonna just do because again I'm working two foot by two foot kind of area. So I'm gonna split this panel and do this half of this panel. So I'm just dabbing this stuff on here where I'm going, pressing it on, spreading it around a little bit. So that's about what I'm gonna do right now, is about that size of a panel is what i'm thinking like i said that way i'm not overworking uh this polish you do this too much you spread that too thin and you run out of that stuff and you end up it's not working for you so then you put the machine on don't turn it on without the machine against the car or you spray stuff everywhere so i set it on there i'm on speed three
what I'm doing. Now you will notice, see how I got this line in here where I taper from here to here? Notice I was not riding on that edge and I was not putting pressure along there and I did not do that. I went basically across the top of this above this line working down to it and then I went this way to that line. You don't want to run right on an edge, a bend, uh, or you could, uh, you know, that's, that's where the clear coat would be the thinnest uh, is on those bends. So I stayed above it, then I went below it, and I did this way below it. And then I went up here and did above it, so I'm not working on that hard edge. So, but that's it right there. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. What's nice about a random orbital is this thing is not going just around in a circle. It's going all sorts of different, uh, spe you know, it's, it's going like this, but it's moving at different places. So you're not going to screw it up. And also, if you were to put this on on an angle, it shuts off. See these lines I put on here? I put those on with a Sharpie marker. What those do is those tell me the speed and that this is spinning. So when I have this spinning, I can see it go around. If I tip it up or get it on a weird angle that could actually hurt something, you'll see it stops. Watch. So see, see those spinning? See it stop? Slow down. So it's designed so that you can't actually hurt anything with this random. That's the beauty of a uh, um, dual action random orbital uh, is they're very user friendly, especially for beginners like me that don't know much. And again, I say this based on, you know, uh, you know, 50, 60 hours of watching people do this. Not that I'm an experienced car detailer. I'm not. But for 59 bucks or whatever I paid for this, it is making a world of difference and I am excited. So we put that on. Like that, you have that done. And then this spot is finished. I'm going to take this, and we are just buffing that out. See that stuff pops right off. And that panel is now completely finished and done. So now I'm going to work on the back of this panel and just keep right going right on down the car. So I'm going to take this spot now. I'm going to do from here and do this panel. This piece right here. So I'm just taking it incremental by incremental. Same concept each time. I'm going to take my uh, my orbital. I'm going to put my four dabs. Getting a little low. Used half of this thing already probably. Come on. Dab there. Dab there. And there. One there. Four dabs. And same concept. We're going to smear it. Just like that to move that stuff around. And then we are going to start working it. No pressure on this. I'm not really pushing down.
and once your stuff clears up and you pretty much ran out of your uh your polish and stuff that's when you know when to stop it's time to wipe it off so sweet and easy i'm going about a uh um equivalent of about an inch per second is what i'm shooting for my target speed again not that i came up with that or know anything about it but that's what i keep reading and hearing about so that's kind of what i've been shooting for so again not rocket science um, but I mean, I definitely would never do this professionally and, and do it on somebody else's car, but uh, I'm telling you, I'm super impressed. I mean, I will be doing it to, to all mine and, and I'll do this again uh, before I sell it, you know, before we go to sell this car or this truck. Um, I will do this and make sure that that paint looks amazing because uh, it is fantastic. The difference night and day i mean that is you know two years old and beat the heck and i mean that's that's it right there so all right that's it for the tutorial part i will show you the rest once i have it all up when i got it all done so but it, like i said cakewalk easy you just saw that panel took what i don't know maybe two and a half minutes to do that whole panel and uh have it all done so pretty simple process
All right, we are all done. I actually had to stop for a while. It's actually a couple hours later because I had to go in for an eye doctor appointment today, get my pupils dilated. So it took about four hours for me to be able to see straight again. And I just got done finishing up, pulled it out, and there it is. Look at that. And now I did not uh, do a whole bunch. I did just spray the tires and the wheel wells just because I want to show you the difference here, what I was talking about. But I did not do much of anything. It's just paint. No windows. This is not clean. It was strictly for the paint. But look at the difference. Remember that big scratch that was there? Oh, where is it? It's gone. There's just a little smidge of it right there that's actually fingernail deep. I can't get out of there. But that big scratch is gone. All the scratches are gone off of this thing. Look at that. I mean, it looks better than it did when it was new. It's insane. That was one of the best investments I ever made. I can't believe I waited this long to try that. Just look at that. I mean, that is just incredible. Um, I mean, just flawless. Deep gloss back. Uh, swirls gone. Haze gone. I mean, there's still a couple dents. Remember, this is a two-year-old truck. I mean, it gets beat up. But see how those wheel wells are? I'm going to show you that in a minute. But look at that paint. Look at that. I mean, just we'll tra change for the angle here for the light. Look at that. I mean, that is just crazy. That is just, I've never seen anything like it. I am so impressed. Now for the wheel wells, okay? WD-40, all right? I buy it just like that. Remember, I am not a pro detailer or nothing. I do my own thing. But I buy WD-40 in a gallon. I put it in a spray bottle. Here, I just did this one. You can see it's still all wet. But see how that looks? Let's come over here and let's look at this one, okay? So we see this wheel well, filthy dirty. So we're going to take this WD-40 and we're just going to coat it right here like this. Spraying it in there. It's good for it too. It's not going to hurt it. And it's like I said, helping keep everything clean. It, it eats this dirt and stuff right off of there. It does a fantastic job like that. Now look at that wheel well. Oh, we got to get a little bit up there. So you can see, but that's, look at the difference that makes. We'll come back here to the back one. Same thing here, okay, look at this wheel well. So we're gonna squirt this stuff. Just drown it right in there. That's why you buy it by a gallon, it's like 20 bucks for a gallon of it, so it's dirt cheap. And you don't use that much. And just squirt it in there, fill it in wherever you want to. Get shocks, get whatever you wanna get, doesn't matter, but that right there does the trick. And look at the difference. Done. That's it. Sweet and easy. Now I can also do the frames underneath the rails. They get pretty beat up under here, but you can see these things here. So I can hit those. But look how beat up and damaged they are. Again, did I tell you I take this thing in the woods all the time? Spends more time off-road than it does on-road. You think I'm kidding. I mean, this thing goes through the ringer. Look at these brackets right here, though. See? Bring them right back to life. WD-40. Look at that. Works like a champ. All these brackets right here. And it'll keep them from rusting. You can go around and do all that stuff with it. So, I mean, I, like I said, I can't say enough good things about WD-40. Now, then for the tires, armor all. That's all I use. Just regular armor all. I actually buy this stuff by the big bottles. And I uh, dilute it down some so it's a little... Again, I live on a dirt road. So, as soon as I pull this out of my driveway, it's dirty. So, it's not worth getting too crazy. It's not like this stuff is going to last. Literally, it's going to be on here until I pull it out of the driveway. Then the whole truck is covered in dust. Part of living on a dirt road. A little bit on the rims, too. Don't hurt nothing. But like that. There it is. Color still oh, mud flaps. Okay. Got to get the mud flaps. Oh, my God. He sprayed a little bit on the car. It's going to die. Oh, no. No, I'm not worried. Okay. Armor all. Watered down armor all. Not hurting anything. But that's all I do to it is just coat that stuff. Just like that. And uh, I'm going to switch hands here. There we go. Go a little quicker with this one. And that's all we're doing to it. Right there, a little bit on the rim too. I know I shouldn't do that. Oh my God, you're getting it on your rotors. You're going to destroy your car. It's never going to run right again. Again, I've been doing this for literally like 35 years. Okay, same with the armor all. Same with the WD-40. Look how good that looks now. Let's see it on the other side where it's already dried. Set this back down. We can see that bottle. We barely used any WD-40 for those four wheel wells. But look at that. No scrubbing, no brush, no headaches, no hassles. Everything's coated. Works perfect. So there it is right there. That is the beast. And it is clean. It is perfect. And that paint looks better than it did the day we picked it up. I cannot believe how amazing 
that thing was. And remember, I did not use any, I did not use any cutting compound. I did not use any compound discs that are designed to cut uh, hard through the clear coat. I used a polishing disc and some swirl and haze remover. And in a couple spots, I used that uh, that scratch stuff right here. A couple spots for the scratch stuff. Everything else, this is actually just a, a scratch and swirl remover, but it's also, if you read about it, it's actually a polish in one. It's a very mild one. And I was using very lightweight discs. Okay, This white one I just used with, with the bonnet on it. Uh, to use for the uh, scratch remover then I used this one here for the uh, um, For the majority of putting that polish on and then when it got too dirty I just went to this black one, which is just a polishing pad um, And it, I mean a few five micro this is all my wash pile This is stuff I got to wash out and clean up um, But very simple design. I will be doing that wax on there soon and get that taken care of uh, But I'm in no hurry like I said this stuff did so good There will be links down below for you for all of this stuff this thing Amazing. I cannot believe I waited so long to get one of these and try it and all the fears I had on it damaging. These are the parts left over I didn't even use yet. Um, so I got lots of extra stuff, but I will put links to this stuff down there for you. I highly recommend it. I mean, it, the finish on that car looks better than the day we bought it. And it is two years old and it spent two years living its life through there. All I used was that polishing um, compound on it or that polishing with a polishing pads. I did not really dive in. I did not damage the clear coat. I did not cut into the clear coat very much because I wasn't using cutting pads and compound. Okay. I was not using that stuff. Um, there's things out there that probably a, a professional could have probably done a lot better on this than I did but I'm very happy and I did not do I did not have to grind hard or dive deep on this you know and look at that I mean you have I, oh, if you could see this in person the difference is unbelievable I mean straight up unbelievable now what I got to do is uh hopefully I can convince my wife to not drive it till tomorrow or for at least let me have tomorrow so I can uh, wash the windows, clean the mirrors, clean everything up on it, clean the headlights, put the, you know, get the, get this thing cleaned up nice so it looks 100% perfect for her. But before it got too dark, I wanted to show you that paint. Incredible. Highly recommend. Uh, I give it five thumbs up, like I said amazing straight up amazing i will be doing that to every vehicle when i need it but uh, also i'm going to use it to apply the wax on there too it's going to be real simple just because wax you don't have to sit there and take your time just spin it on and then wipe it off so i'm going to use that it's going to make waxing it a lot faster um, i can use that thing to clean my my glass stove top i can use the thing for a lot of different stuff and uh but like i said i'm so impressed i cannot recommend it enough i'm very very happy and uh and again you're talking about somebody's never done it before i've washed cars for a long time i've clay barred uh cars for buddies before helping them out when they were trying to get rid of contaminants first time ever using this kind of stuff a dual action random orbital and uh can't say enough good things about it so there you go links will be down below for you i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for coming along with me on this little journey i didn't know how it was going to turn out but uh thrilled absolutely thrilled thanks for watching